Hi, welcome back. In the last video, we started to add a little bit of music to the marimba part here in this piece using both the simple entry tool as well as the speedy entry tool. Uh, now we're going to move on to doing a little bit of writing for an unpitched percussion staff. And we'll be using uh, our percussion part down here, which has the VDL concert band combo instrument loaded in. And I'm also going to be pointing out some of the added benefits of using a MIDI keyboard for your note entry. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. I'll be using the simple entry tool from here on out. That's just my tool of choice. Uh, but if you'd like to follow along using the speedy entry tool, if that's what you're comfortable with, that'll be just fine. All right. So what I'm going to do is write a little tempo block part that sort of mirrors the marimba line that I wrote in the last video. As you can see, as I scroll down, there's a whole slew of sounds uh, on this concert band combo that can be accessed using the arrow key. So I'm starting in tempo blocks, got an eighth note selected. I just want you to kind of pay attention and see all the extra added sounds that we kind of go through as I'm adding in notes here. So I'll hit enter, add my eighth note. Now I'll scroll up to the next tempo block sound. There you go. So you notice that it didn't just jump line to line, it actually went through all the sounds. There we go. There we go. There we go. So you can see, to go from that one that's in the E space up to the G space, uh, if we're referring to the treble clef, I had to hit up, I think, 23 times to get from that E space temple block to that uh, that G space on the top temple block. Um, so it's pretty time consuming if that's how you're wanting to enter things. So here's the same idea, uh, completing the phrase using my MIDI keyboard. And I'll add, go ahead and write the next measure using that entirely. So as you can see, uh, entering with the MIDI keyboard definitely happens much more quickly. And certainly if you spent uh, you know, day in and day out working using just the computer keyboard, you'd probably be able to work relatively quickly. But you'll have the same sort of issue when working with speedy entry. It's, it's roughly the same. You still have to arrow through all the notes to get from uh, one sound to the next, especially if you're wanting to do something like this using all tempo blocks or all concert toms or something along those lines. Um, and it especially becomes uh, cumbersome if you're dealing with, say, like the snare line instrument, where there's a whole slew of sounds mapped all to, you know, a single space where all the notes are written. Um, so if, you know, space is a concern, you can certainly consider getting a smaller keyboard. If you're someone that's always on the go, you know, they have things that could easily fit in a laptop bag or a backpack. Uh, and if budget's a concern, they have some that, you know, are certainly $50 and under, just to consider. Um, so that's it for this video. In the next video, we'll be working with the drum set, and we'll introduce the idea of right hand and left hand samples. So we'll see you next time.